Hello everybody, welcome back to another Goblin Line video. Uh, we're back on, um, and yeah, we're going to do a bit of freight on the line today, because it's actually, even though it is very much a commuter, it's also quite, not weirdly, but it's also a very heavy freight route. Like, there's a lot of freight which goes along the Goblin. I mean, the service list, uh, if I remember, we'll have a little look at the end, It's um, it just goes on and on. There's so many freight sets. I mean, literally, for every every service you do between Gospel Oak and Barking, you're at least going to see one or two freight trains. It's really mad, actually, it's how, how many freight trains there are. Um, but then, it's, as I sort of mentioned, it's sort of the M25 of railways in London. So you've got all the freights going to connect in between all the different main lines. And I mean, the the Goblin eventually then goes on to the North London line and from the North London line you can then go down to Acton and places like that so it's it's you know it's a busy freight line uh, it's not just your passenger stuff which makes it quite sort of interesting um right let's get all of this um set up all this gobbledygoo uh break time in uh we want that to be on on goods um, so that's that sort of. We will also do the train length as well. That's also quite important to do. That shouldn't be on night running. Hopefully we're in all the AWS. Yes, we are good. Uh, DSD and AWS. Of course, we've got to have that on. Uh, we'll also look at the length as well. So we are. A fairly long train, 461 yards, uh, 461 yards in feet, it seems to have saved that, 1,383, 1,383, so we'll come up to here, uh, enter to edit, 1,383, 1, 3, 8, 3, there you go, and we'll save that as well. Cool. Um, right, let's get the brakes off. That'll take a little bit of time to release. But yeah, this is Ripple Lane, I believe, right at the moment. Ripple Lane Yard. Um, so there's the there's the goblin there, sort of going off to Barking Riverside, and it comes along here. And obviously continues up that way. Um, but yeah, let's let's do a bit. We'll get the HUD off, I suppose, as well. Where are we actually stopping? Is it all the way to Gospel Oak? It is all the way to Gospel Oak. And sort of stopping just before the platform. Okay, let's get a little bit of power. Let's sort of get us, get us rolling. There you go, you can see it's slowly starting to... Uh, they're all slowly starting to release. Slowly. That's off, that's off as well. Just getting that oomph to get moving. There we go. Yeah, leaving Ripple Lane behind. There you go, we're on the move. But yeah, a bit of goblin freight action. Which I thought we might as well get all the... Well, we'll try and show off most of the different... Um, service layers. I mean, there's a few on there which are slightly weird. There's even a class 20 layer. Um, which involves you doing uh, basically a light loco run from Gospel Oak to, I think it's Ripple Lane. Which is a bit of an odd one. A cool one. Get that up even more. I think this was scheduled to take 26 minutes, this, uh, this run. Which as we're sort of non-stop along the line. Yeah, sounds about right. There you go, we'll get that up again. And away we go. I'm gonna turn that audio down just a smidge. Oh here comes the 710. There it is. Whizzing past us. I should probably actually, actually, I don't know, we might not have to wait for that. That might actually have to wait for us. Which I think it is. I can see there's a red light for it. Yeah, look at that. I mean, look, freight getting prioritised over passenger. Although, actually, I did witness it the other day. 
there was a freight train going up the Arran Valley and it was in front of um, a fast uh, London Victoria service which was quite uh, amusing sorry people we're going through we're more important look at us uh, you got the red light and we got a we got a green light it's all about freight the freight is the future Yeah, there's so many freight services for us. So, yeah, once we get to Gospel Oak, um, we'll return to timetable and we'll just go for There's so many. Like, even if you don't really like the look of driving the 710 or, you know, you don't really like the aspect of passenger train driving, there's a lot of freight on here. That rocks your boat a bit more. Off we go. As we do a little sort of brake test. Just a small little one. Yeah, they're working. Just before we get up to a bit of a higher speed. So up to 40 miles per hour. Now we've got to wait for the brakes to come off a little bit after the little test there. Yeah, freight along sort of like a metro line. It's just a sort of weird to think, but it's, it happens. I will click the button as well, the little train length button. We'll start. No, maybe not. So we'll do it once we get past that one. Then we know we can then speed up to 45. So coming up to Barking Station. There you go, that's now coming down. So that will tell us when we can go up to 45. The only thing though, which I... Oh no, no. No, hang on. Yes. No, possibly. No. I was going to say, I only had the um, South Eastern 66 and the um, East Coast Mainline 66, but then I don't, as we're on the Xbox, we don't have all of the DLC. So that is, so that's why. And once that blinks or gives us a little beep, we'll. Uh, there we go, up to 45. I'll click that to reset it. There we go, reset and we hold it. I wish there was a hotkey for this button. Maybe there is. Just haven't found it. Let's go. Although we have got the 30 through Woodgrange Park. I don't think there's also uh, many, or just after Woodgrange Park, I don't think there's many joint speed limits on here. There's definitely some near Upper Holloway and Crouch Hill. Um, because I think it's like, yeah, it's 55 for passenger trains, I think 40 for freight. But we'll be slowing down there anyway, so that's fine. I think for the most part they are shared speed limits. Another 710. Sort of whizzing past. There we go. Well, maybe we'll just keep it at this bit. We don't really need to accelerate too much. Uh, and we're on a bit of a downhill at the moment, so... Well, but it's just containers, isn't it? Yeah, containers, a few skeletal ones as well. Yes, yeah, so we don't really need to accelerate. All right, it's going to be slowing down shortly anyway to 30. So, um, yeah, we don't need to accelerate too much. There's Woodgrange Park. It feels weird, sort of going through the stations cup of tea as well essential but yeah sit back relax and just enjoy the journey as we make our way west Right, there's the warning for the 30, which is just after the station, I believe. 
So we'll start popping that down now. And we've got to try and maintain the speed limit as well because the first he begins and then you've got quite a steep um, uphill gradient. So we need to sort of try and maintain the 30 on the uh, on the steep gradient. There's that passenger train behind us still. Uh, well, behind us-ish. So there probably are some passenger services you can do where you'll be sort of chasing yellows, but they never actually go to red. You'll sort of just, you'll just be chasing yellows for the whole journey. And then, you know, you've got a freight train ahead of you just going a bit slower. Well, really, the AI is probably going a bit top speed. So this is Woodgrange Park. And the Fiat 30 is, yeah, coming up here. We sort of then go up the uh, up the gradient. So we've got to try and maintain this speed as well. It doesn't even last long, that's straight up to 45. Which is in a four coach 710. Literally, as soon as you've gone past the back of the train, it's only four coaches. But obviously, in this uh, train, we've got to uh, we click the train length button. Let's click it again. There you go, it starts counting down. So then up and over the Great Eastern Main Line. Another route which would just be awesome in the game. Cool. Come on, 66, you can do it. A bit of welly. Hopefully we can just basically just start, just keep basically yeah put it in full throttle and just accelerate up to 45. Got about 24 at the moment. There you go. That's now gone to that. We've got the 40 limit, so it's a 40. We'll reset that. That's 40 just after Woodgrange Park coming up to uh, Wanstead Park. Which the speed doesn't really come down now until uh, until after Black Horse Road. Uh, Black Horse uh, Black Horse Lane, Black Horse Road. It's Black Horse Road, isn't it? Yeah, Black Black Horse Road. It doesn't really change until until then. But it comes down to 20. Here's Wanstead Park, and goodbye Wanstead Park. So that's to flatten out a little bit now, now we're sort of on the bridge, so we can sort of, well not flatten out too much, it still looks like we're going up. Here are the 66 changing through the gears. So still 40 as far as I'm, no hang on. Uh, no, there was a 45 board. Thought it was only for that corner. I mean, this is quite cool along here. Let's um, hopefully we'll meet another overground train and we get a nice little um shot sort of on the bridge. Yeah, there's one there. It'd be cool to sort of get one sort of above the houses here, which I might try and get. Because I mean, it's just cool. Look at that, you got all the houses in 66 just up here. Like, hello, <laughs> hello down there. Yeah, I mean, your, your house would probably rumble if this was going past. <laughs> it's just quite cool to see. And there's someone's roof there, and yeah, the 66 is rumbling past. Yeah, so we'll just, we'll just coast it. We're at 40. We don't need to really go up to 45. And we're going almost 41. I don't think the suspension's been done for this yet. At some point, there's going to be a suspension update for the 66. Uh, which looks really cool. That suspension, I think, was meant to be like a TSW4 release thing, but it just didn't happen. 
Uh, Leighton Stone High Road, this one. Oh, this is where you got the 40 going through, okay. I thought it was Wanstead Park, right? Leighton's where you got a 40 basically through there as well. Leighton Stone High Road, you've got the uh, lower limit, and then Leighton Midland Road next. The rooftop 66. Oh, there's a. Uh... There's a there's a one a 710. Try and get a nice little shot here if we can. Autofocus. Using much more now. I'm being a bit lazy using that. For one, just so we can sort of see the uh, 710 poking its head out. Yeah, so uh, 20, yeah, I think, I think that is the next limit, 20 after Black Horse Road. So it's Leighton Midland Road next, then Walthamstow, Queen Road, Queen's Road. I mean, I could be wrong, there could be another, another limit. Well, this is the second time I've done it, Hudless. It's quite nice doing the route at sort of a different pace, so sort of just get to skip through all the stations and sort of not have to worry about the stations. Yes, yeah, so this is Leighton Midland Road. And then, yeah, then it's Walthamstow Queens Road next. And this is an early access build as well on the Xbox Series X, so if you're seeing what looks a little bit off and a bit dodgy. Uh, it's an early access build, so something to expect. Because well, it's not yeah public, and not a public build. Just, this is more exciting than doing freight on the East Coast Main Line. It's like what one hour, two hour long services on there. Where you're sort of not even at the speed limit. I mean, the speed limit's like at 75 and you're sort of stuck at 60. Uh, whereas on here, you've actually got to sort of keep an eye on the speed limits and. Yeah, it's just a bit more engaging. I mean, yeah, genuinely, if you don't like passenger trains, but you like your freight stuff, well, this. <laughs> this is cool. And obviously for the 66 you do need to own, say, South Eastern High Speed, the RHTT, um, or South Eastern High Speed, or East, yeah, East Coast Main Line. You don't just get the 66 with the route. I must point out, this is a layer. I would get a flyby shot, but then it's probably a bit risky. Although we'll, get a, we'll sort of get a, a flyby shot-ish. There's Walthamstow Queen's Road. Actually, let's get back in. <laughs> Probably break something. Probably, we've already braked a bit too much. Down the train. Be back up. We really did slam those brakes on there. See, it's dangerous getting fly by shots on here. So, yeah, next stop is Black Horse Road. And then after that, we've got to keep an eye out for the. Um, 30 limit. I really don't like this. I really don't like this. Look, see that the front you can see that's the frontage of the shop, but then up against like a wall. And it's the same on the other side as well. This looks really Train, bit of welly, or well, they've got to slow down soon anyway. Just to get your speed a little bit up again. How are we doing? What about train that behind us? Is it directly behind us? No, it's, it's a couple of stations back now. So it probably isn't chasing yellows, it's probably still on a green. 
you've got the low adhesion warning there so when you're doing this in autumn etc you've got to be careful I think Black Horse Road might actually be one of my like more favourable stations on the route. It's just like a nice, a nice station. Another one's um, South Tottenham. That's a nice one. Yeah, this one. It's, it's a nice station. A nice sort of deal to it. And it's right near the wetlands as well, which probably also makes it quite nice and different. And you've got the London skyline over there as well. Right, we do need to think about coming down to 20. That's not too far along. I'm not sure EWS will be happy with us going over at you know 25 or even 30. So let's get down for that. Just sort of a small amount of brake pressure and then sort of release it and then sort of get that residue of the brakes doing the rest. I don't know why we can see through trees though. I don't. I, how is that an issue on trains in world? Like, why is it an issue? Not on the older TSWs, that wasn't an issue. Sort of being able to see through trees. Probably a path you can go on that one, maybe. I know there's some little secret bits on this route. Which are possible to uh, explore. And we'll click the uh, click the magic button. Which will start the uh, countdown and we can go back up to 45. Not for long though. Yeah, South uh, South Tottenham, or was it South Tottenham? No, uh, Haringey Green Lanes. Um, hang on, no, South Tottenham, Haringey Green Lanes, um, Crouch Hill, Upper Holloway, and then Gospel Oaks. There's not many stations to go now. We still can't speed up any more than 20, as the back of the train still going over the bridge. Has it really been 15 minutes already? That's another train already. Hundred and seventy feet, hundred and forty, hundred and twenty eight, comes down pretty quickly. And that alarm going off is just the DSD, basically just cause making sure I'm alive. <laughs> That's what it's doing. As we haven't touched the controls in a little while. Drawing up that line down there on the left, which I'm not actually sure what that line is. No, is that do we join up with that one? I think we do. There's also like different lines where I, I, don't, I just don't know where they where they go. Um, I don't don't think any passenger services probably go along them. It's probably just more yeah freight, but electrified just to sort of be electrified basically. Joins up with something probably. As I said, it's literally just a web of tracks. All the different bits joining us as well. Uh, it's 20 going through South Tottenham, at least on the other side it's 20. Since we've oh, we've got 30. But uh, yeah, 30. This is another nice station. Would have been really nice if you could actually go in the signal box. That would have been a nice addition to this station, just being able to go in the signal box. Sort of one of those perfect little stations where you can sort of just sit and watch trains in the signal box. Dovetail, please add that. So you can go in the signal box at South Tottenham. And I think, yeah, it now stays at 30. We're coming up to the East Coast main line fairly shortly.
comes up fairly soon. And you've got the full East Coast mainline timetable, or at least LNER terms length. Yeah, nice run though. Certainly a nice run. There you go, it's that 30, which will probably will be the speed basically all of the way now to Gospel Oak. Because even when it does speed up uh, after. just before Upper Holloway, there's not really much point of us speeding up, just for the short little burst of speed. Are you holding up anything? Let's have a look. I mean, yeah, the, oh, actually, hmm. I mean, that's probably chasing yellows now. Um, but yeah, I suppose these are timetable. I mean, it's every 15 minutes, the um, passenger train. So if you fit one in basically just after one's gone, you've got plenty of time. I mean, the timetable's been done pretty nicely on here. There we go. Little bit of speed as we're starting to lose it. Must be going up here a little bit. So this coming up is Haringey Green Lanes. Which yeah, it looks like it's meant to have a really long platform. I mean, maybe it did one once upon a time. But certainly not anymore. And then just after this, you've got the East Coast Main Line going over the top. Still says it's on time. Freight train go through there. Yep, there's the East Coast Main Line. Let's see if we can see a train. You've got Haringey sort of main station up there. And this um, bench you can actually sit on as well. Little path you can go along. If you want to watch East Coast Main Line trains, which are at the moment, there is. Oh, there's literally one just above. If we time it well, we get like a double flyby shot. Which I think. There we go, that double flyby shot. Pretty cool. So you do get little cool pockets like that. Well, there's a bit more going on. Come on, train, you must be going up here because you're blimmin' dawdling now. So yeah, it's Crouch Hill, Upper Holloway, and then Gospel Oak now. And Crouch Hill and Upper Holloway are very close to one another. Obviously at 30 it feels a little bit slower. Yeah, it's certainly fun doing freight on this route though. Probably yeah, more exciting than doing it on the East Coast Main Line. Sort of rocketing up at sort of basically just 60 miles an hour, not having to worry about speeds, not really coming to a stop. Especially if it's like a nighttime one as well. This is Crouch Hill. Cool. Through we go. We're so close to the juice wires we are, like really close. Looks much closer us because we're quite high up in this loco. 25,000 volts just above our head. Is this the bridge where you've got that like, hidden 30 board? Or is it the never? I think it's the next one. And yeah, then it's up a hollow way, and then you've got, I think, a mile. Or so to Gospel Oak. That's crazy to think this used to be 
ran by 150s, 150s, 172s, obviously now it's 710s. And so then this is sort of like a metro line in a way. Yeah, we're still here, don't panic. And yeah, this is Upper Holloway. Again, I can see a see through tree, what's going on? The weird thing about the um, 66 is it's got no GSMR on it. Um, yeah, it's only got the FM 1000, which I think was, is it the NR National Railway Radio? Or, no, National Rail radio network or something like that. Like it doesn't have um what you hear some more. There yeah, there's Upper Holloway. Another nice signal box which would be nice if you could go in it. So yeah, we should be coming up to the end pretty soon because we're not actually going all the way to Gospel Oak, we're stopping before Gospel Oak. Um, so I'd imagine the next signal probably will be displaying a caution, cautionary aspect. Which I think, is that a signal I can see? I can see something. Yeah, is that what, uh, yellow, double yellow? I think it's a single yellow. Yeah, so we'll be stopping pretty soon as the signal sections are quite small on here. and steady. Don't want to screw up now. So this is one of those places where you've got like a joint speed limit. No, not a joint, sort of, yeah, different, so it's 25 for us. Although I don't really want to be going 25 up to the red. I'll, I'll stay at a steady a 12. I can see the red light up there. I spotted it. So yeah, just take it nice and slow, really, now up to the red. All the graffiti and places where you just wonder how on earth have they got down here undetected. It's cool under here, like this. So in a way, you sort of get to um, see the detail a bit more when sort of doing a freight service, which is going a bit slower flying along. You got another little line down there which well has just joined off uh, come off from us. Which is quite cool so it goes in the tunnel there. I have to just go on Google Maps and see where all these different lines go. I mean imagine these are probably all freight. Sort of little sneaky links to get from A to B. I'm sure once upon a time I had passenger trains, but not now. They went nice and slow. Don't want to screw up now. And the rates actually seem to be pretty decent as well. And we're going uphill. We don't want to strain the 66 too much. I mean, I'd probably stop here, but the game will be like, no, go further forward. That will probably surely do. Loco length away. If it's unhappy with that. Oh my god, it is going to be as well, isn't it? Yep. 16 yards. We literally will go right up to the red light, which really isn't helpful. Hopefully that can be changed, because there's not really any need to go that close. And now we've got to start on a 1 in 120 gradient as well, which is not nice. Probably actually going to end up start rolling back, maybe. Push it into the red a little bit, just to sort of get us 16 yards forward. I hate these objectives where they're so close when they don't need to be so close. I 
Is that happy with that? Or do you want me to go two yards forward? There we go, it's happy with that. Wait a moment, that's it though. Oh, hang on, no it's not. No, I don't think that is it. Apparently we're going further forward. No, no, this is it, yeah. Yeah, stop at location. Um, but yeah, that is going to be everybody. Uh, for today's, uh, or for another Gospel Lake Barking Line video. Uh, a freight one as well, which makes it slightly more peculiar. Um, uh, yes, uh, we'll, wait for the, we'll wait for a moment and then we shall go back to the timetable. Because there's just so many freight services on the route. So many freight services. Once it loads us out. Yeah, this is all the freight services. I mean, some are shunting, which again will interest some people. But they're just, there's so many. Going all the way through. <laughs> that's a fair few. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for me. Hopefully everybody has enjoyed it. Links can be found in the usual places. Discord, PayPal, Merch Store. Apart from that, thanks for coming in. Hopefully we'll see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.